everyone. Fingers are crossed for a peaceful night tonight in Ferguson, Missouri. Residents are being asked to stay home. The hope is that smaller crowds will mean fewer peaceful protesters for the criminals to hide behind and avoid a repeat of the clashes we saw last night. CBS's Marley Hall is live in Ferguson for us tonight. Marley, is the strategy working so far? Well, Rob and Cami, it is after dark here in Ferguson and demonstrations are underway. Many protesters ignoring calls from community leaders to stay home tonight and have come out chanting and marching. It's all peaceful so far. Doing all right. Missouri State Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson is hoping for a peaceful night in Ferguson. Oh, cowards hide in the dark. And it's time for that to stop. Earlier Tuesday, teachers volunteered to clean up the city which has been vandalized almost nightly since the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. It gives us something that I think, something meaningful that we can do, because it's, you know, it's terrible that our kids aren't in school today. Ronald Rush lives close to the police command center. He's surprised to see consistent trouble in Ferguson and the police response. The National Guard is something I never thought I'd see this close to me. I never thought I'd smell or taste tear gas either, so you never know what a day is going to bring. Police are ready to respond if anything gets out of hand, but protesters were actually encouraged to stay home after dark to let peace settle in. Attorney General Eric Holder will be in Ferguson Wednesday for an update on the civil rights investigation. In an op-ed to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Holder writes, This is my pledge to the people of Ferguson. Our investigation into this matter will be full. It will be fair and it will be independent. Funeral services for Michael Brown are set for Monday, though the exact time and location have not been finalized. A grand jury could hear testimony in the case starting tomorrow to determine whether or not the officer involved in the shooting will face charges. Rob, Cami. Marley, last night about this time we saw law enforcement beginning to deploy equipment and personnel. Are you seeing that tonight? Well, I'm standing in front of the St. Louis County Command Center, and this is the point from which local and state police officers, as well as the National Guard, will deploy from if there is unrest that they do need to respond to. As of right now, they are prepared, but it is peaceful so far. So far, good news, Marley. Thanks very much. Just miles away, another officer involved shooting. St. Louis police shot and killed a young African-American man on Tuesday. They say the 23-year-old had robbed a convenience store, and when they got to the scene, they say he was acting erratically and refused to drop the knife. Police say they shot him when he approached them with the knife.